Hey, this is Alex Allgood from Broad Productions, and I'm here to show you guys how to render your videos in HD for YouTube. Now, this is what I find the best way to render videos for YouTube in HD. That was kind of obvious. Um, but I see all these videos on YouTube of people who try to give these awesome tutorials on how to do it, and some of them just don't know what they're doing, and <clears throat> some of them use all these funky, confusing things. It's just retarded. So... Um, we are going to do this in a simple, productive way, and you'll get the highest quality out of it. So, let's get started. I am using my video right here called New World. Check it out on uh, our channel right here, Broad Productions. Check it out. Okay, so once you get everything done, we're going to go to File, Render As, and then you'll see all this, and then you'll type in your name. Uh, hey, baby. Um, let, nope, let me buy you a drink capital letters helps everything okay so then what we really want to do is go to save as type um i already have a template saved you can do this too i'll show you how but you're going to click that and we're going to see all this funny stuff you can see people do this in avi i don't like avi because the files are too big um obviously but then you can compress it and i don't like the way it compresses the videos just don't look as good as crisp and then some people use Windows Media Video 9, and I don't like that either. They're they're not as they're not as big as AVI, but they're it, to me the video turns out to be a bit blurry. I don't know that that's just me. It's not as crisp. I like crispness, I guess. Um, so we're going to use main com concept AVC AAC MPEG4, MP4. What do you want to call it? I find this the best. So we're going to go to that, and then we're going to click this right here. This is custom. Whew. Now, make sure this is on best. Obviously, you want the B video rendering quality on best. Then we're going to go to this tab, click video, and all this stuff will come up. Now, um, at first, it'll say like default will be multimedia, will be that 320 by 240, which that's obviously not HD. So you're going to click that and go to custom frame size. And then you're going to go on the width uh, 1280 and the height 720. And I. I just got a text message. Oh, man, I'm popular. Okay. Um, and then frame rate, we're going to keep it on NTSC. Probably all the way down, I guess. 29.97. Should be dandy. Or 30, you know, whatever's on yours. I don't know about other versions of Vegas. But um, we want it on progressive scan. And then you can keep this on one. Actually, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I didn't know if it gave us another option. Okay, so that works on one. And then on bit rate. Um, some people like to use a constant bit rate, but I don't know why. I just like to use a bit, variable bit rate. Um, so we're going to click two pass. We're going to go maximum four uh, million bits. You see all this? God, it goes to 240. Dang. We're going to go four million, and our average is going to be two million. Um, a lot of people might think this is a lot, but on how, on how MPEG records, it makes awesome file sizes they're they're small but they're still extremely high quality um like i you can make a five minute video and with avi and stuff they'll be they'll be like like a couple hundred megs which were this it's 30 or 40 megs well, that's a lot better and they're still they're to me even better quality um so you can really ump this up as much as you want um this is basically like your video quality i guess bit rate um and then, but if you have a really, really long video, but I doubt you're going to make a long enough video to do this for YouTube, um, you can take it down a notch. But you don't need to do that. So I keep it on 4 million maximum and 2 million average. So we're going to go to audio. Audio should just be your standard 48 hertz and then 192 bit rate for that. So make sure you have this on best. A lot of people keep that on good because that's the default. I don't know why they make it like that. Like, ugh, like that. But it's best. So once you get all that done, I already have it saved, but if you go up to template, you can type something right here, be like YouTube HD. That's what I do. And then you click save. And then we'll click, I'm going to click cancel because I don't want to save this, but well, you would click OK. And then your template, now every time, you never have to fiddle with that again. Every time you want to render something, you'll just type in what you want, and then go to MPEG4, and then down here, see it's right here, YouTube HD. Boom! And then click save. There you go. You now have created HD videos for YouTube that look great and render fast. Um, and you can also do this. 
you don't have to have HD videos to render in HD. You can you can you can get normal videos. Obviously, they won't be the quality and clarity of HD videos, but they will play in HD on YouTube. Some people think, oh, I don't have HD videos. If I render in HV, HD, it's not going to do it. I don't know why you would think that, but um, but it will. No matter what you do, it'll play HD. Promise. Um, okay. Well, cool. Glad this was a small little tutorial. Actually, it's not that small. It's like five minutes or something. Maybe that's wrong. I'm reading it upside down. Oh, well. Okay. Well, um, I hope everyone had a dandy day. I'm sure I did. And yeah, I'm taking this a little bit too far. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, remember, post any video responses of any videos you upload in HD. I'd love to see them. Um, and, uh, you know, comment if you got any more ideas about Sony Vegas and any, uh, or Sony Vegas or Adobe After Effects, any tutorials you want to give or for me to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you later.